So why is everybody moving to Alito, Texas? If you're not even familiar with Alito, Texas, we're talking west of Fort Worth, which is west of Dallas. So in the grand scheme of DFW, you're talking west-west, not all the way out to Weatherford. You are still very much near town. So one of the big perks of Alito is that you get a small town suburban feel with all the benefits of big city Fort Worth and the metroplex of Dallas Fort Worth. So Alito has been a tremendously popular suburb or really city of its own that's established in many ways for decades and has been a huge hit as people make their way out of the big city for some larger housing, some acreage property, some bigger lots. People love the schools. Alito schools have been really celebrated not only for academics and accessibility, but also athletics and the ability to be competitive on really almost all stages that families and individuals are looking for as they look for a community for families with kiddos. Now, even without kiddos, you're talking about access to recreation, nearby lakes, you got incredible golf courses, you have an excellent city provided parks and recs department, as well as city festivals. Some of those highlights, you've got a farmer's market that will make you feel like you are in small town Texas, and you've got it just minutes away from the Fort Worth Zoo, from Dickey's Arena, from big Fort Worth stock show and rodeo and concerts and all those. You got a great restaurant scene right there in Alito, and you really have the mix of to the west, Weatherford and beyond, you do get into some of the rolling topography of entering into kind of Northwest Texas. You're not all the way there yet, but it does begin to feel that way as you see some rolling hills. You got some of that going on in Alito as things start to flatten out to the east in the big cities of Fort Worth and Dallas and Arlington. You got all the professional sports and entertainment that goes on over there. And you are beautifully in between depending on what time of day you head in, really in that 20 to 40 minute range of a reasonable commute with all the big benefits of both places. So you have access to healthcare and the airports and the travel and all those things. While you can be in Alito in the 300s on a purchase price for an entry level property in Alito, you could find something below that. Not much anymore, it is possible. And then certainly we see homes in Alito well into the multiple millions of dollars, especially when you get into larger lots and acreage property. So you've got everything from your small, normal neighborhood lot to your big one, two, three acre lots. And then you still have have some rural feel where folks are on 50, 60, 100 acres. Those are somewhat quickly getting chopped up into development. So there's pros and cons to that. But the people that tend to love Alito are wanting the small town feel, great education, access to really everything you need without the crazy traffic of the big city, but the ability within a half hour or less to have access to just about anything you could want from the big city as well. So whether it's movie theaters or the actual formal theater, or you're looking to get a job in town, all that's accessible to you in Alito, as well as a lifestyle in Alito where you're never really leaving or you're headed west where Alito is the big city to smaller cities beyond. So it's perfectly located for the folks that are looking for a little bit of everything, affordability of housing, great education, plenty of entertainment, parks and recreation, outdoor access to lakes, golf, hunting, fishing, recreational vehicles, and beyond. Alito, Texas is an incredible spot for you. Now, some of the questions we regularly get is how far. And the reason we give a range is because it certainly depends on what time of day. If you're heading into Fort Worth first thing in the morning, that's gonna be a little bit longer than heading into Fort Worth midday or in the evening. That's pretty logical, but you are looking in that 20 to 40 minute range. And I'm sure I'll get emails and comments below of people that disagree because there's different parts of Alito, but you can pretty much cross Alito in under 20 minutes. So it's a great size town in a great location with tremendous demand. We're seeing huge growth there from some of the new corporate job makers, job creators, job providers in the Fort Worth and mid cities area between Fort Worth and Dallas, where that drive is still very much reasonable for you to live in Alito if you have a growing family or you just want a little bit more space or a little bit more privacy. It's also an incredible place to live if you're really wanting some of that rural feel, but you don't want to be so far out that maybe you're not on city water, or maybe you don't have full grid hookups and all that. But we are seeing people get the best of both worlds in Alito, Texas. If you're thinking about making a move to the area, that's what we do. 
We're the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, and we have a division called the Todd Tremonti Homes on Land Team. So let us know in the comments what you're looking for. Why are you thinking about Alito? What else can we tell you about Alito? Or what are some of your favorite things about Alito, Texas? Let us know in the comments. We reply to every single comment down there. And if you need help buying, selling, or improving a property out there, we can get you connected with a vendor. Or of course, we'd be honored to earn your trust in helping you buy or sell in the area. Check out the rest of the channel. Lots of videos on other communities in the area and some other great information on Alito as well. Our information is below. We'll talk to you on the next one.